All right. <clears throat> now let's discuss here how sugar affected the slave trade and how far did the slave trade reach? All right. So for West African states, the demand for sugar was so high that it led uh, the slave trade to expand to all of the above. Okay. So it expanded worldwide. Slave was always a thing, especially prisoners of war and, and gaining free exploitations. If we go back in time, uh, in Egypt and the Jewish were somewhat slave, were slaves. Okay. So Slavery was always uh, something or an idea or practiced in different points of time, right? But here we're discussing the 18th century, 17th century, right? So for West African states, the demand for sugar, so sugar was an agricultural product, and in Europe, it was high in demand. And it was so high in demand that it led uh, the Mediterranean world, the Europeans, the Europe, uh, to communicate or to have more trade with African states, especially with slaves, all right? Dealing with slaves here, right? So for West African states, the demand for sugar was so high that it led the slave trade to expand to the New World, Europe, and South Africa, okay? So sugar, right, was introduced by the Europeans to the new world, all right? The Europeans brought sugar cane over, the roots of sugar cane, and showed uh, Indians how to cultivate them, right? Eventually, the Indians didn't want to uh, work for the Spanish, so what happened? Well, uh, they import, they began importing African slaves, okay? So, for West African states, the demand for sugar was so high that it led the slave trade to expand to the New World, Europe, and South Africa, 